Doctors know that keeping blood sugar within a pretty narrow range is what helps prevent the terrible consequences of diabetes, amputations, blindness, kidney damage, heart disease, and strokes. And the way doctors can tell how well controlled a diabetic is, is with a blood test called A1C, which measures a person's average blood sugar level over the previous two or three months. An A1C above 6.5 is considered diabetes. But now the American College of Physicians is recommending that people with type 2 diabetes raise their target A1C number from around 7 up to 8, normally considered too high. Treatment with drugs targeted to 7% in contrast to 8% does not prevent heart attacks or strokes, but it does result in substantial harm, including low blood sugar, increased medication burden, and increased cost. The statement in the Annals of Internal Medicine explains that more intensive blood sugar control may not actually achieve the prevention of complications from the somewhat higher numbers. The evidence for reducing serious complications was inconsistent. It was limited only to reducing less serious complications, such as excess protein in the urine. However, the group recommends that patients and their doctors personalize their goals for blood sugar control based on a discussion of benefits and harms of drug therapy therapy, patients' preferences, general health, life expectancy, treatment burden, and costs of care. The ACP recommendations were based on drug therapy, but if a patient can achieve low A1C levels with lifestyle modifications such as diet, exercise, and weight loss, then those targets are appropriate. Now, it's important to note this recommendation is for type 2 diabetics, and this does not mean that diabetics can just let their sugar soar. It still needs to be controlled, just perhaps not quite as tightly as previously thought, and the target number must be individualized. So, of course, always work that out with your doctor because it's going to be different for different diabetics. A little bit of a paradigm shift when it comes a to this. A little bit, yeah. Thanks, Dr. Max.